Oh, this is Mike. NoStressMike.com. Um, I want to talk about the lack of morals. I I'll tell you, I've noticed uh, this trip. Uh, well, for one thing, I've been coming back and forth, I say 12 years now, uh, up here in the United States. And I've I pretty much surround myself with good people, uh, people that have morals. And uh, but I've noticed because we, we in the evenings I'm, I'm always staying with somebody in the evenings and we talk a lot. And I've noticed that uh, it's difficult uh, to use your morals here in the United States. Uh, the United States is not a moral friendly country. Uh, they have uh, laws, rules, regulations, uh, and few of which has anything to do with morals. And uh, like I say, I travel around the different countries on the the street level, I drive. So uh, I see many re uh, religions. I see many people with different beliefs. Uh, I say I I cross paths with really violent uh, murderers, uh, and it's funny because I have learned that uh, everybody's got some kind of morals. Uh, but it seems like people tend to suppress their morals. If there's a law or a rule or regulation that says one certain thing and your morals uh, don't agree with that, you will set your morals to the side and go along with whatever it is. And that type of uh, attitude really is strange to me. Uh, like I say, I can't speak. Uh, I say when I'm in these Spanish-speaking countries, I can't speak, so I don't know. Uh, I don't know the rules, regulations. I don't know none of that kind of stuff. And all I do is I I stay morally correct on what I do, and it's that moral strength. Um, kind of trumps whatever laws and regulations I seem to break. Um, now, I don't know if the, the people there uh, accept morals better uh, than the United States or not. Uh, or, I don't, I don't know. But here in the United States, it seems like when you try to do something morally correct, uh, the rule makers and enforcers are, are threatened. They're threatened when someone uh, uses their moral strength. And I try to push it that uh, we have to we have to have morals and we build on these morals. Now, the only way you can build on morals, build on saying you get more morals, uh, you get stronger morals, and the reason it gets like that is because you use your morals. And then when times when you don't use your morals, you did the, the law or whatever, and then afterwards, you feel like you got a guilty conscience. You are right. You didn't apply your morals. You are so focused on the rules and regulations that you don't apply your morals. Doing the morally correct thing. And uh, I say here in the United States, uh, the American people are really concerned 
about using their morals. Uh, they're really, they don't like uh, puffing up and using uh, their moral strength. They don't like doing it. And uh, it amazes me when they're like that. Uh, I just can't get over how they're intimidated. They're scared to use their morals. Uh, I don't really quite understand how they can even be like that. It doesn't even make sense to me. Uh, I just, for me, I throw my morals out all the time. And uh, if it's breaking the law or rules, I pay the price. Uh, and maybe when I throw my morals out on a certain thing, it's wrong. I pay the price. But I also, when I do this and people benefit from it, or I benefit from it, uh, I, I get rewarded for it. Now the rewards aren't always what the mindset is from a lot of people. A lot of people are focused on money, so they want a financial reward. They think that's a reward. They've learned to uh, measure uh, doing good by how much money they, they profit from. It. And that's a lot of that down in Central America. I mean, that, they think they do good when they screw me out of a few bucks and then they, they pat themselves on the back thinking they did good. You know, it has nothing to do with morals. I say they measure it by financial um, uh, benefits. And in the United States, uh, I hate to say it, but the United States is following along with the other countries. Uh, I cannot believe greed and power has overwhelmed the United States. Um, and just like all the countries I ever go to, uh, it's government officials, uh, whether elected or the bureaucrats. Uh, they're the ones that reap all of the, what they consider rewards power and money. Government jobs pay the best. Uh, and when they're in that position, they will use their position to investigate people, uh, to intimidate uh, and control people. This is something that, uh, and I say it, in Guatemala, they've got the same problems they do in the United States. It's just more obvious. Uh, down there, uh, even as stupid as the people are, they're smart enough to know they're getting screwed. Uh, here in the United States, they're really slow. <laughs> they really think they have to be a law-abiding citizen, even though the laws are immoral. I, I just, I, I'm just lost when it comes to that kind of thinking. I'm not sure how people can... I don't know how they can live their lives like that. Uh, I say they don't take personal responsibility. Uh, you know, dial 911, big brother will take care of it. Uh, you know, I mean, they. the only time you see them getting involved in uh, the political system is when they're bitching. Uh, they don't meet these people, uh, the commissioners and the board of education, stuff like that. They don't, they don't meet them head on as normal people. And uh, they don't go after their uh, spouses. When their spouses are in a in the grocery store or something like that. At least, at least he's still going to the grocery store. But uh, I say you need to mention something to their spouses. Uh, I mean, do you even know? What their spouses are. 
do they even know who their spouses are so that when they see their spouses in the grocery store, they can say something to their spouses. You know, so, and you need to. Uh, they are part of the community. They need feedback. Even, I'm not thinking about bitching at their spouses. I mean, you can say, hey, you know, your wife, your husband is doing really good. I can see that they're, 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 they're looking at the whole story before they uh, make a decision. They think of others and stuff like that. You know, I mean, pat them on the back and they do good. And then at the same time, you don't need to go crazy when you bitch. Just let them know, boy, they, they made a bad decision on that. I hope they reconsider it. And I uh, hope they sure get their get back in the wagon so they can do things the proper way. Especially stand by their morals. I say put people on the, the moral attack. Uh, I'm sure they're, they're doing what they think is morally right. Uh, but I wish they would evaluate or... Uh, do their homework or look at more uh, more options you know there's things you can say to uh, help guide your local community like say we've already lost our state and uh, federal government I mean that, that's gone that's why I don't like paying the, all the taxes that's not the error it's paying all these taxes to all these people you're feeding the monster you know they need to get less taxes less sales taxes less Income tax. That's all that. That's nothing. Uh, the income tax. People say, "Well, they want a, they want a, a fair tax or whatever." You don't want any tax. Any tax system you have in place, they can screw it up. So you don't have any tax. All right. Like say, we got gasoline tax. That's plenty enough. Let them do their gasoline tax. So uh, you know, let them or make them do with little that they have. The more they have, I guarantee the more they'll spend. This is Mike. No stress Mike.com.